in day four they're ask, they're calling for a wildlife day uh, and that's gonna they're gonna bring you over to mammoth hot springs uh, large elk herds in that area uh, tower junction we talked about the bears in the area uh, slow creek uh, <clears throat> That, you know, you if you go on a hike back there, I don't remember seeing much wildlife back there, but I'm sure there is. But uh, Lamar Valley, for sure. Um, Brown Prairie, don't know. I don't know about these other ones. Oh, Trout Lake, I talked about that trail. That is really cool. If the fish are there, for sure. Okay. Okay, so on in this book, by the time you get to day five, things are starting to uh, repeat themselves quite a bit. I'll just show you what they're suggesting. And then on day six. Yeah, Debbie's saying to go over Dunraven Pass, and that is this road right here. That's the one that I was telling you to get to Lamar on. Let's see. Uh, day six. <clears throat> this is, I think they were calling this a geology day. So these are the places, but it's it's the places you already looked at with the exception of Hell, Hell Roar and Overlook. I don't really remember the Overlook, but it's one heck of a cool hike back there, but it goes, if you take the hike, it's got a few real steep places in it, but it goes back to a, a suspension bridge, a hiking suspension bridge that's way over that river that the Yellowstone, and it is really roaring there, <laughs> where it gets its name, so then... This is day six. They're calling it Geo Geology Day, so they're going to the hot spots and stuff, and how the how the caldera formed and all that. Mm. Day seven, they're talking about a photography day, so these are the places they're suggesting to go and take pictures. Let's see, Mammoth Terraces. I didn't talk about. Uh, that's worth looking at and walking through because it's, you know, the only place on earth you're going to see something like that. But in Fort Yellowstone. Yeah, in Fort Yellowstone, they'll be saying. That's in Mammoth. Yeah, that's in, in Mammoth Village. That's also where the, uh, the only real doctor's office is, is in Mammoth Village. Um See what else they're doing here. That information's kids there. day. I don't know if you guys can have any kids along with you, but this is what they're suggesting for kids days. <coughs> and then if you want, you know, I can make you a, a video on the, the trails that we really enjoyed are the fishing spots I could make you one on the on the, my favorite fishing areas but that pretty much sums up what I would have to tell you about it okay well let me know what you think so that's going to kind of wrap up uh, that video on where to go and what to do on Yellowstone. Uh, I've got, you know, a lot rattling around in my brain, but I'm not sure what all your interests are. But, you know, one of my most favorite things is to go hiking on the trails out there. You see the park in a whole different way once you get off the road and out into the wilderness. But it takes a bit of an effort, you know, and some of the trails are difficult. But a lot of them aren't, though. And, you know, the ones around the canyon are just probably the most spectacular. Of course, I mentioned Hell Roaring. 
that was a, that's a really cool hike and the one back to Fairy Falls I enjoyed a lot that's easy but it's a little bit long and there's some more hot springs if you <clears throat> there there's a little bit of a trail after you get to Fairy Falls and you can spot it but it, it goes back to Emerald Emerald uh, hot hot pots or something like that Emerald geyser maybe but it goes back to some uh, thermal features that very few people get back to see uh, probably round trip seven eight miles something like that so it's you know it's a little bit of a, a walk for sure but it's worth it so I throw my two cents in there and of course I love the fishing out there and if you if you hike back and you want to do any kind of fishing you go back to Riddle Lake uh, you can do fly fishing or uh, lure fishing with a money clip is the lure to use back there <clears throat> but I could go on and on about <clears throat> about the fishing and stuff uh, and hiking so if you want to know any more about that just let me know and then as far as camping and west I would go to Grizzly RV Park they're a little expensive but it's it's worth it and there's not a lot of choices around there unless you want to uh, uh, do more or less a dry camp where you don't have any uh, electricity or anything. And then, you know, if you're in West <clears throat> and you wanted to get some breakfast, I'd go to uh, Three Bears. They get they make a good breakfast. And then uh, pizza, there's a pizza place, Wild West Pizza. That's If you wanted pizza, that's where I'd go. And there's a, um, there's like a, a truck food or kind of thing, you know, a truck, a food truck. And it, he has Mexican food right there in the middle of West Yellowstone, the town. And I highly recommend that guy. It's inexpensive, big portions, and it's real Mexican food. It's not like, you know, a lot of the Mexican food you get up north. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up. And hope you guys make a, a really good trip. And hope Larry gets to feeling better. And we're going to stay hunkered down until we can get the vaccine or, or summer comes and we can get out of here. <laughs> See ya. Okay, so on in this book, by the time you get to day five, things are starting to uh, repeat themselves quite a bit. I'll just show you what they're suggesting. And then on day six. Yeah. Debbie's saying to go over Dunraven Pass. And that is this road right here. That's the one that I was telling you to get to Lamar on. Let's see. Uh, day six. This is, I think they were calling this a geology day. So these are the places, but it's, it's the places you already looked at, with the exception of Hell, Hell Roar and Overlook. I don't really remember the Overlook, but it's one heck of a cool hike back there. But it goes, if you take the hike, it's, Got a few real steep places in it, but it goes back to a, a suspension bridge, a hiking suspension bridge that's way over that river that the Yellowstone and it is really roaring there. <laughs> Where it gets its name. So then, this is day six. They're calling it ge Geology Day. So they're going to the hot spots and stuff and how they. How the caldera formed and all that. Day seven, they're talking about a photography day. So these are the places they're suggesting to go and take pictures. Let's see. Mammoth Terraces, I didn't talk about. Uh, <clears throat> that's worth looking at and walking through. Because it's, you know, the only place on earth you're going to see something like that. But... Yeah, in Fort Yellowstone, Debbie's saying. That's in Mammoth. Yeah, that's in, in Mammoth Village. 
that's also where the, uh, the only real doctor's office is, is in Mammoth Village. Um, see what else they're doing here. Kids Day. I don't know if you guys can have any kids along with you, but this is what their suggestion for kids days. And then if you want, you know, I can make you a, a video on the, the trails that we really enjoyed are the fishing spots. I can make you one on the, on the, my favorite fishing areas. But that pretty much sums up what I would have to tell you about it. Okay. Well, let me know what you think.